I don't need a coat. Yeah. But he I need, need a bump, bump nigga. Hey, key bump. I don't do coat. No. But I need a bump. He need a key I bump. I need a bump. I need a bump. Key I need bump. a motherfucking bump. He want to stop. You whore. Yeah, man. So, uh, <laughs> since we starting out a new motherfucking episode in the fresh way, I want to tell y'all motherfuckers some history. In the vein of uh, Black History Month, ladies, take notes. Take notes. You hope to know this. If not, you know, just know where your history come from. Uh, those eyelashes that you love, the long, big, long-ass tarantula, long lashes and all that stuff. In the 1800s, it was started by a French woman. Uh, she was actually a prostitute or a whore, if you will, <laughs> if you want to use proper vernacular. She was an 1800s French whore. And she invented eyelashes. And you would you like say. to know why she invented eyelashes? So a, a prostitute invented eyelashes. A whore, yes, a prostitute, a woman of the night, Speak a on lady it. who works in brothels. Speak on it. Invented eyelashes, ladies. The things that you adore will pay hundreds of dollars for to feel better about yourself on any given night. A prostitute in the 1800s made these. A French prostitute. And she didn't call them eyelashes, ladies. No, 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 no. She called them cumbrellas. As in, no, not an umbrella, a cumbrella. And you may wonder why a prostitute <laughs> may need some cumbrellas. And that just means you're fucking up, ladies, and you already missed the point of this, uh, this whole little segment. But I'll break it all the way down. Free game, crystal clear. So much sperm was being shot in her face <laughs> and subsequently burning her eyes. <laughs> what the- she decided that she needed a cumbrella <laughs> to protect her eyes from the vats and loads <laughs> of semen that have been shot <laughs> in, the in her face. And Mercy. so if you want to go back, because this is Black History Month, and, and his- historically, historically women, black women love them lashes. They love them motherfuckers. Historically, black women like these motherfuckers. It's current. So it's a message. Just know that the reason those motherfuckers were in place is to... Uh, to become umbrellas. So to me, if you woke and then you're a enlightened woman and you wear those lashes, what I'm going to assume is you're woke. So you're making it clear that you want me to shoot a load in your face. And it's OK because you have protection for now. Your let eyes. me ask you this. That's, that's just, an assumption. I appreciate that right. historical moment in black history. That's an assumption. And right. That, that's just no. No. Hold on. Right. But you should. Y'all should appreciate that gem from Anderson. But what I want to say is this, that assumption. Now, will you proactively act on that assumption? Thinking that that's what they want. Well, will you well, just walk around nothing on? Well, hold on. So let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's break it down this way. You're goddamn right. I will. And here's why. Because if we are at the point that I, I have opportunity to bust on your face, we're already at a point that we've had, consensual sex. We've already fucked with them lashes on. We've already did whatever else, you know, pussy licking and, and you know, dicks, all, all all of the fun, freaky shit. We've already had a green light to go with that. So if we've done all of that, why would I not, with you wearing these lashes, think that I can't bust in your face? Absolutely. I'm gonna, if I feel like, hey, this is where we need to go with this, <laughs> this is how we're gonna get a happy ending. Nah, I you, absolutely you in that boat like, alone. I'm yeah, yeah, I ain't no, doing that no, like that. Yeah, I, nah. she, I, I said, if she says that she's a woman, you, you, I hope you heard the premise. If she says that she's a woman that's woke and in the know, that means she know the history of these motherfuckers. The same way, and now let me throw this at both of you gentlemen. Shot the shot from the foe. Look, let me throw yeah, this Yeah, we ain't brain shine right. Because we just came right in raw and hot. Yeah, we're we going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Niggas going to know what the fuck going on. But look, if a motherfucker walk up to you with a badge and a navy blue uniform on, what the fuck are you going to assume? It's police. You're going to assume damn. they the motherfucking police. And the huh. reason that you're going to assume they the motherfucking police Don't is because the way they, they present themselves. So if... If, if a woman says she's awoke and she's aware of how she's presenting herself, then that's cool. But she needs to know that the way that she's presenting herself, to me, you like getting, you know, come you got cumbrellas on. You like getting 
bust on you, in the face. But you talking about some relationship <laughs> shit. I was no, just talking about relationship bro. shit. I'm saying you perspective the same way. The Anybody same. random. Yeah. Nah, I ain't, nah he, you in that. You, you completely in that boat. No, I'm not saying relationship. I'm saying if she is. Presents you, herself where eyelashes, she's getting her face shot on. No, I'm not saying she's going to. I'm saying that <laughs> I, if, I, if when we get to the point of fucking, I think. Unless she says otherwise, I'm going to assume so, she's with it. So let's take it to Why a, would I assume that she's not with hold it? Hold on. Let's take well, it to think a Think about it. Think about it, though. If you're really trying to do some freaky shit with a woman, why would you assume that she's not with it unless she says she's not with it? A woman is with it. Why would you that, assume that why, she is? But, because, fuck, a woman is freaky as fuck. Women are freaky creatures. But the, not they, everybody. Not every woman. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, a woman, but a woman. Every woman ain't a freak for every nigga. That's, That's correct. But, but look, if I'm talking about Cumbrella specifically. And look, but hold on. Every woman who's not with something will let you know. But every woman who's not with something, even if it's your first fucking time, if a woman sucks your dick for the first fucking time and it's brand new, she gonna say, all right, now don't nut in my mouth. She gonna, if she don't want that shit, she gonna tell you that shit. Okay. Right there on the spot. That's what I'm saying. That's a small price to pay. But all, but all I'm saying, <laughs> that's a small you know price saying? to pay. You know I didn't say like it's a price at all to pay. All I'm saying is, a woman will let you know what she is not with before you get in that situation. So if a woman does not let me know that that is something that she is not with or she is not cool with, and we are at a point. I'm not, because I mean, I'm not a point in my life where I meet strangers and just fuck them up. You know, that's not where I'm at in life right now. That's great and it's fun, but that's not where I'm at. Shout out to the niggas who do that. But if I'm at a point that we are fucking and you have these lashes, I now feel like that I'm informed that unless you tell me otherwise, that's okay. And if it's something that I want to do, I am going to go forward with that. Knowing that you didn't tell me it's not okay. The same way if a girl is sucking your dick, or she say, you make sure you better tell me before you come, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If she say that, you already know. All right, she don't want me to bust in her mouth. If we just being real. If she say that shit, you already know. So, so if she don't say that shit, you just going to go ahead and bust in her mouth. So what? You are. Well, so, so are you absolutely you? are. <laughs> say I'm saying lying, nigga. That nigga, you see? Say I'm lying. Shot, say I'm lying. So, so Shot, let me say ask I'm lying. <laughs> Nigga say I'm lying. Nah, I'm telling nah, real nigga shit, nah. Niggas know you kinda play the world. Like like the first time you damn You pull it out. She get that nah, yeah, you ain't even doing that. You just be like, oh I'm about to I'm about to let you know what I'm saying? To give her the head so she decides what happens next. Now if, but if she, she a pro, she already know. No, but I'm saying if she hit that and she full speed ahead, she with it. And she like, okay. Then you got your answer. It's simple. I've, nah. Nigga, I had that shit. She because every, every... No, I say that loud. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, there. But I mean, there's other ways. You can, but, uh, you can, you take can, it up. You can express that when you, you just like, oh, shit. Damn, you got me ready. To, you can express that, like, passionately. But at the same time, with my experience, it, <clears throat> it's one of two things. If you don't tell me you don't, and I don't let you know, and I just bust... Well, fuck it. Let's talk about like some I said, this is a small price to pay because all she's going to do is be like, you could have told me you bust. Oh, my bad. And I'm going to say, my bad. You didn't say. No, I didn't know. Yeah. I couldn't do that. You Fashion feel me? So, um, via some Yeah, it's just another, hours, but it's another thing. Uh, and this is candies, of course. We're talking about Zowers. Uh, I had some thoughts last week. And those are the thoughts we're going to start sharing with you guys. Are, you go, are we going to introduce ourselves Candy now? Candy-infused uh, thoughts. So, uh, one of the thoughts I had last week was that, I, that. What, what I felt like was fuck interesting. introduction. You know what it yeah, is. Yeah, you know what the fuck it is. Uh, how <laughs> niggas be like, you already know what the fuck going on, when niggas really don't know what the fuck going Somebody on. Somebody going to be like, I swear to God, I don't know who the fuck you yeah, niggas I don't know are. That's my first time listening. Right. I like, saw all the promotion. Yeah. Y'all niggas, I thought y'all shit popping. Y'all don't yeah, even shit. need to tell me who the fuck y'all yeah. are. But, uh... Well, then fuck, fuck you. What was, oh, what was I about to say? You talking about oh, my thought, my Zara thought. thought. Would the Jackson 5 had been who they were if Joe didn't whoop ass the no. way he did? No, okay. absolutely not. All right. Absolutely Talk not. to him about it. Why not? <sighs> it, everybody need motivation to do something. You know what I'm saying? And if he would have been... If he would have been passive... Them dance moves wouldn't have got hit like that. Cause Michael been a wild boy since the 
a boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was going to do what the fuck he want to do from that the job. That wasn't quotes. He's been a wild boy since a boy. <laughs> so, it, they need instruction. Without structure, who knows? So, they couldn't have got structure without getting their ass beat. You know what I'm saying? I come from, like, my grandma raised me, bruh, so... Right. Hell no, like, it's <laughs> yeah, a necessary yeah. evil, you know what I mean? But shit, yeah, I'm from that same era, but uh, what you think? I 100% agree, and this is how, this is how, this is an approach or slant I'm going to take with it, right? Um, I found what people um, outside of my, my close circle, or people who have a high level of accountability, I can motivate a motherfucker better by saying, I don't think you can do this, as opposed to saying... I think you can do this. Because motherfuckers are so stubborn. They'll be more motivated by you doubting them. And they'll be more comfortable when you say, yeah, you can do it. And they're like, yeah, I think I can too. And they'll stay stagnant. Motherfuckers don't appreciate a drill sergeant. Like, a drill sergeant who who drive you and be like, you dirty fucking maggot. You scum sucking fuck. You fat piece of shit. Get down to do 500 fucking push-ups. Matter of fact, do some sit-ups. I'm tired of looking at your fat fucking back. Like, motherfuckers riding you like that to get the best out of you. You don't appreciate that shit. You ain't... A motherfucker can't coddle you and be like, I just want you to try so much harder. Just, I don't want to yell at you because you don't deserve that. But I really want you to do better because I promise you will be better. And I'm, I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to talk. And you may not like everything I say, but it's because I really care. I, nah, fuck all nah, that. Now, hold on. You got to put your so, motherfucking foot in your ass to activate certain people. So do y'all think, think a parent, As a parent, he knew exactly what buttons he needed to push for his children to be on go. So do y'all think this? Because it's, it's parents who believe in sparing the rod. I'm not one of those parents. But um, my daughter is beyond the age, really, of that kind of treatment. But uh, I came up on that. Um, yeah, I still went through bumps and bruises, but I don't believe in that. But however, based on what you two gentlemen are saying, there are kids out here who are not going to reach their potential this day and age because if you hit a child this day and age, you're pretty much fucked. First of all, with this uh, pandemic and all this online school, <laughs> it's a bunch of psychopaths. That's what's happening. We were, This era with the internet and everybody at the house, Hey, and everybody you might gonna be have social anxiety, but oh. it's finna be a bunch. You of gonna have real shit. Listen, Here. no bullshit. Hold on, he said an interesting point, bro. To kind of rabbit trail real quick. Do y'all think after the pandemic, when it's officially announced it's over, that humans will have to be slowly reintroduced into society? That's a fact. I don't think so. You That's don't think so? You absolutely think so. not. You're gonna have. Because, again, it's all going to be marketing and perception, right? With people who are going to be home and paranoid, you're not going to hear about them on the news. You're going to hear about the motherfuckers in Vegas. You're going to hear about the motherfuckers who really, really <laughs> in Atlanta. You're going to hear about the motherfuckers who really, really That's in Miami. Point. You're going to hear Frame about the motherfuckers game. who really, really going to all yeah. of these spots and turning the motherfuck up, living their right. best life. There's going to be hashtags behind it. There's going to be quotes. Is we back? Hashtag I'm out here. All this dumb like. shit, and niggas are gonna be completely with it. And if you're not, you're gonna do the same thing you've been doing, quarantine, and then nobody's gonna pay attention to talk to you. You're now gonna be socially just looked at as a hermit. That's exactly what's gonna happen. And so you basically saying niggas gonna need. That's what you're saying. I'm just saying <laughs> niggas gonna niggas, niggas gonna, gonna be niggas. You know what I'm saying? But and, and and on the other side of the of the topic, you know, my opinion on it is. No, I don't think motherfuckers are necessarily not going to make it because they don't get their ass bust. But if you don't have someone, whether you're getting physically struck or <laughs> scolded verbally or held accountable with, like, calisthenics or workouts, some motherfuckers, if they don't have someone who's going to hold them accountable, they will not meet the sh their full potential. They may be okay. They may get a good 9-to-5 job making an honest, middle-class living, and if their goal set is beyond that, if their dreams and their want is beyond that, and you haven't taught them the level of accountability that they have to have within themselves to level the fuck up to do that, then you will not get that. So, yes, some of you are fucked. Some of you can't even hear. Most, uh, most of you are motherfuckers. Let me be real. Unless most of you change, most of you are fucked. 
because most of you, if you heard a message out of love that was some shit you do not like, you're not going to fuck with the person who told you that. You're going to think of an excuse of why they are a hater, why they not real, or you're going to be defensive and say, well, your shit don't stink, and you're going to talk about what they do wrong as opposed to actually fucking listening to what somebody who care about you is telling you you doing the fuck up your shit. Bro, what are so, you talking about? I'm just talking about you just high. You're absolutely I didn't, I didn't You following know. what I'm saying? I'm following, but <laughs> you went on a long rant. I went on a rant, but I'm just saying the that fuck? level of accountability, if that shit is not there and it's just not imprinted, Regardless, you're fucked. And then what I alluded to was a whole lot of motherfuckers who are fucked because they don't even want to hear that level of accountability. Like some people, like we have conversations about accountability. I went on a rant, but I'm breaking it down. And to we go on, on another rant. No, I'm, breaking, I'm, not, I'm just it. breaking it down. It. We just going, I'm just, if you say, what the fuck you talking about? I'm answering the question. All I'm saying is you going, in my mind, you're fucked if you don't have someone that can hold you accountable and tell you something that's not a yes man, yes woman statement, and you don't want to hear, and you think they're a hater, or they're not real because they tell you something you don't want to hear. But life will teach them. At some or point. Mm. Life will teach them at some point. Life will teach them. Life will te- like teach it. them, but they won't be successful. That's the, based life, on their that's own the life lesson right that's there. A, hey, I like this shit, some people really. don't ever learn it, though. A, that, everybody hey, ain't lus- lucky enough to learn Listen, it's what they gonna do. happen, whether it be your, your, your friends, your family, or the police. At some point, a level of accountability is gonna happen, or a jail uh, or death. It's, yeah, it's, it's a lot inevitable. Of die, go to jail, but at the same time, if you if you live a life that's somewhere in that that middle, that's not so far on the edge, where you just got a basic job and you just letting your life pass by, you may not it may not ever click. Some people don't it don't ever ever even click for them. But when they, just they live play, and die. when they play the middle, I think their aspirations would have been higher than the middle, but. Again, well, life checks them, and then they... That might they, not even be life. That might just be fear, bro. Some people are fearful. True. All right, flipping gears. Let me ask you I this. Got my, I got my sour topic. Okay, well, why you, you got it now, or are you getting it together? Uh, All right, well, why you get it together? It's in front anyway, of you, bro. Uh, no, I have he got another one. rich nigga shit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, this... So, let's say you're at... Uh, establishment around here that may be a little bit more on the hood side. We're not going to call any names. And then you may go to an establishment that is more on the uppity side. And we're not going to give any shout outs to that either. Anyway, so in the hood club, you smoking weed in there. Niggas doing coke. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers on Molly. Drinking a uh, they done damn empty all the Hennessy out and ENJ and that shit. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers just slap fucked up. Knowing the caliber of woman that comes to an establishment like this, she knows what the fuck goes on here. Okay. Are you going to change your approach of how much you're willing to invest into trying to secure Something what? building something with her. What do you that, mean like, building like, something with? Either, fucking, but just spell either, out either, either about or, or like damn, or like shorty bad. I got a damn. What? I'm trying to scoop her or like I'm trying to hit. Like at minimal, you trying to hit, but the it, fact that she's there. Yeah, is it well, based me, on that? Is it gonna be be more like hey, we, we fucking or what? Versus you at another club and you might hey, what you drinking on tonight? I would you know based on my perspective point and you know I've been in a lot of. Dumps, diners, and you know, drive-ins. A lot of little different spots. There's a whole lot of motherfucking reasons that beautiful women. We go, don't need a backstory. Would your approach you change or no? Before you start, I need you to stop. But would your approach change or no? Absolutely not. I need you to settle all the way the fuck down and let me articulate my articulation <sighs> because your disaster is being disastrous <laughs> right now. But all I'm saying is this. A good girl can be in a whole hood ass motherfucker spot because she could be back from school. She could be in town. Her ratchet ass girlfriends are like, girl, you got to come out with me and just pull you the fuck out. There's, all I'm saying is there's a lot of different reasons a motherfucker can be in the spot. And just because you were in that spot that night don't mean you're going to see that motherfucker again. We've all been in the club and been like, damn, that bitch was bad as hell. I don't know who the fuck she was. I never saw her again. They stand if I would have so saw cool. her, I would have shot at her again. I thought I'd see her around, but whoever the fuck she was, I never saw her around again. But I, you just focus on something else. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, I wouldn't change up. I absolutely would. <laughs> Real shit, nigga. I'm not. 
Nigga, I've done that when I was going heavy in the clubs. Like I'm not putting you approach a woman different based on if the club I'm you in. in a hood club. It's no effort. I I feel like you're here for a reason. There's so you assume there's you effort should, needed in a nice club. That in well, a, I would decide the quality of the club and apply that my effort is gonna change based on where you chose to so entertain yourself open, that open night. Her, uh, her opening her mouth because you can peep game and you are a perceptive person. Her opening her mouth. Let's say she's the snare I said. A friend, a girlfriend, dragged her out. She's not even from town. She's just checking in. You guilty her, by association. Her, but her, hold on. <laughs> her talking to you. You listening Blame to her. Blame your friend. That ain't hold on. Hold on, but her listening. You hold on. Her list, you listening to her, talking to her, reading her body language because you know people. That wouldn't make you think at any point, like, I might need to change my approach. Or you just going straight up. This is the approach. I don't give a fuck about listening to you. I don't have whatever you say. This is my approach because you're here. Will your approach change based on your interaction with the woman is what I'm asking you. If she looks yes like no. she's sti- yeah, it would. Sticking out like there a sore thumb. That's, yeah. that's why I said you, yeah. you know or you, the one. Or you open her, as soon as she open her mouth, you already know. Nah, because I ain't trying to hear her open her mouth that loud. The music loud. You, so talk, you talking to her, you're going to have to hear some words. But you don't have to lean in close. You go, yeah, you still going to hear some words. That's how you want to get And then, too, trying to be, you trying to close the Let me even tell you this. You could kind of tell, too, like, so does your does your approach change by how a woman is dressed? Let me ask y'all this: How you yeah. if, if a woman yeah, just yeah, yes. okay? Yes, that's right. a fact. That's a fact. So so what's but the difference? You, but but you see, that, hold on, no, no, no. no. You, you try to cut me off. Not, I can tell you the difference. The difference is that woman's comfort zone because at the end of a day, a real nigga's gonna be like at the end of a the bitch road. that smoke hold blacks on. be comfort hood clothes. Hold on, hood hold, on. hold on. Let me finish. You cut. Keep cut. You're doing exactly what we talked about before. You're doing the exact same thing. But you're talking you're, you're for like so 10 minutes at a clip. Anti- well, it would go by quicker if you stop antagonizing. Let me finish. Stop asking questions if you don't want me to repeat it. God damn it. It's man. a work through easy. Yo, but look, I forgot the goddamn question. Now. Good, Shy. <laughs> <laughs> you said, That's why would it change? Yeah, why, what's the difference between you saying it would change if you saw a scantily clad woman versus a woman? Who is not as scantily well, clad I, I, versus oh, I remember. a chick at a hood club and a chick? Not, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. All right. So, as as we spoke earlier, that person is gonna stand out. Whether you you know the type of woman she is based off the way she look, the way she stand out, and the way she carry herself. So I can look at you and know you not. I'm gonna rule you off my list early. If you you in some shit, Bell, I'm like, why you come out like this? Like. I'm not even, I, fuck it, I, I'm not even treating you with like, Mm-mm. I ain't gonna say disrespect, but yeah, you a peon to like. me. Yeah, you yeah, a peon yeah. to me. I can't, I can't, I'm not even talking to you, I'm not associated with you. I feel with like, I, I, and here's here's my thing, like, you might be a peon, <laughs> but you might not be a peon. <laughs> you you might like, just, you know. I take the risk. You know what I'm saying? You might just do some shallow shit, but here's my thing, it's just like, my approach is still going to be, like, just because a woman dressed conservative, conservatively and she's not drinking a lot, or just because, like, yeah, I probably met this, a woman who don't drink, don't smoke at all, won't be freaky as fuck. Yes, your approach is different, but yeah. if your end game is the same, you're still going to go off of, you know, even if she's a hoe, she could be a hoe that's dressed completely half naked. Every half naked hoe, fellas, does not want to fuck you. No, that's a fact. So you need to go ahead when you read her, when you read her body language, whether she dressed square as fuck, that don't mean she's not fucking, that don't mean she's a good girl, that don't mean she's a Christian. Wherever on earth the fuck she is, you just need to be able to adapt is all I'm saying to whatever your approach is going to be with that I, woman. I think we env- we envision two different types of women. Because when you said the, the not dress so skinless, because them the ones, them, I feel you on the, on the freak level wise, they be the undercover ones. You don't want the ones that's loud but at the same time, there's two different louds with that too. You can be like classy with it and and be smooth, or you can be like on some that shit came from from dots or rainbows. It's just where it's just I'm where these women at. You know, some women in a spot or a place where they've never had somebody 
violate them or put them in a position. Like, they don't really know any better. Some of these chicks are just young. Some of them don't peak game, you know. So if they wear something, it just depends on where they at mentally in their life. And then, know? But I can tell that. Then we ain't, I'm, not, I'm not even going to talk to you. There's, there's no point. If you're just trying to fuck, uh, are you now? <laughs> right. It depends on your approach and what you want from that woman. Man, as someone who has uh, curled up the Christians and cuddled up to some hoes in his lifetime. So you saying the hoes uh, ain't Christians? I will say you can't judge the book by its cover. I met you some. You just called the hoes non-Christians. Or are you saying if you're not. No, a, I've cuddled and curled both. You said Christians and then. Hoes, well, yeah. Well, I've, but why so, do you separate so, hoes so, and Christians? So, Christians, you're really saying Christians aren't whores. Known ho- you got closet Christians and known Christians. You got closet hoes and known hoes. So, so why are closet c- hoes not Christians? Probably not. Mary Magdalene is not going to heaven. They're spiritual. <laughs> That's a whole other conversation. <laughs> <You're, clears throat> We're not going there. Go ahead with All the right. other topic. All right, let me. So we can get the fuck all through. Man, what the fuck? This motherfucker still ain't got his shit. Man, I got my shit ready. You just keep talking <laughs> randomly. Look, it's, this is one of the two topics I got. Well, fuck, we're going to have one. We got. I got two. Hey, can Look, men really not get pussy? Let me go ahead. <laughs> let me go ahead. And, yes. But is it really on. niggas Look, who's not getting what's, pussy? What's, what's, well, fuck that. Yeah, we know that there are. But look, anyway. Here's, <laughs> oh, it, Shia, let me ask you this. this. Which one is worse? Would you rather, in this situation, would you get rather get your ass whooped by a gay man or by a stud woman, which one would you rather? Which one would be the worst ass whooping? Like, damn, which one would you? I don't want to. I don't want to get my ass whooped by this motherfucker. Bro, I can't lose no stud, bro. Uh, I can't lose no stud. Right, because it's a man. It's the, the, the yeah. I get at the end of the day. I, let me fight. What's the man? Right, and I, I can deal with that. What's the man? Cause yeah, I, I can deal with that. But if a stud with your ass, let's go hurt your pride. Man, hell no, I'm not, I'm not going for that shit. Are you yeah. going to run it back with the stud and she whip your ass? Bro, listen or if you she take that ass over, you got to wear it. I, I'm, oh, you going to have to shoot her because she whooped nah, your ass. I'm peaceful. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm peaceful. Not, I ain't yeah, with none So of she whooped your ass, you going to run it back or you going to just eat it? A hey, stud whooped your ass, you going to eat it or let it I wouldn't even be engaged in combat with well, a we stud. Well, we just, we already nah, here now. Nah, you can't, you can't, you can't Republican out of the situation. That ain't, this is a podcast. This is real spill. Yeah. If you in that she situation, go get, she go get warned a couple times. Hey, Amen. No, if she knock you out, are you gonna fight her again, oh, or are you gonna fuck she her up? She put you to sleep. She you put sleep. me to sleep. You already there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You I, said that hold on, hold on. Let me she ask you this: you Did we do? square up, or did, did she? Because I say, nah. Did she catch me off yeah, the you side or something? Squared up. Oh ah, shit! She fucked you up, fair and square. <laughs> Ooh. You gonna run it back? You gonna let it ride, or you gonna shoot? You gonna try to take it to another level? These are the only three options. No, it's only three. So run it back, take the air, or shoot it up. Yeah. Oh, that I, shit I, 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 I would run it back. I would, I would run it back. When you, wake, when you wake up, you go to where to live and or work. You go on social media. I got and now you're back. you're trying to go ahead and have I, a round two. Yeah, I have to run it of back. Of the stud master and you. Shot for the foe. For sure. I, 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 gotta pull up. Back, <laughs> I got to run it back, bro. They gonna pull up the space. Hey, <laughs> that should be the name of this episode. The stud hoe versus shot oh, from the foe. <laughs> <laughs> this this nigga that pulled up to her job, bro. The stud hoe. What about you? She now w- she work at a plant. Now, now <laughs> Now, you might get your ass stud now for real. Look, now is it so you? She didn't whoop your motherfucking ass. You gonna take that, eat it, you gonna run it back, or you gonna escalate it? I'm peaceful, yo. Yeah. You just I'm gonna eat, you gonna wear that L? Yeah. How long? Because you know your girl gonna be like that. Every every sooner or later, everybody gonna be and like, now he done brought the your girl, girl gonna be you, you know, but that's what women do. Your girl gonna be like, it, it don't matter. She just gonna be waiting for it. You ain't say that when that stuff will jump on fucking. Bro, I just can't hit that woman, man. Like it would fuck with me. Like every time I see her, it. I remind her, like, motherfucker, you know I owe you one. <laughs> you know you lucky you living. Just don't eat. I be this is this is what I would do. I would just conversate with her <laughs> and say, hey, listen, don't don't big up that shit. Like, a motherfucker be like, oh, you motherfucker not is. Hell, nah, that, you downplay that shit. 
As soon as I hear you big, I'm spraying everything. As soon as I hear that motherfucker big enough, that shit, hell no. Now you, cause you I gave she you. Brag. No. She's nah, gonna young she man. No. She gonna rap about you. She gonna rap nah, about you. We ain't doing that. Be like, you remember that time I whooped your ass? We can't do it like that. Song. Now. But really I can't, she said I ain't gonna nah, put it out the song. I'm just cracking jokes. But for real, man, I can't I I couldn't do that. But that's a fucked up situation. But sure. I think we all agree we'd rather lose to a gay man For sure. than a woman. God all right. Damn. So now the last the last question I got. Uh, we're going to ask you, Shy, because this is a new topic to you. Is there a difference between somebody stealing on you versus an off-guard punch? <laughs> <laughs> is there a difference between... A, there, there is a difference. There okay, a difference. T- tell, me, tell me more. <laughs> Stealing, <laughs> it completely came out of nowhere. There was no, there was no conversation. Okay. There was no antagonizing. No beef. Okay. Yeah, there was nothing. That's that's stealing on okay. But if you talking and there there's words exchanged aggressively, you got to be prepared to wear that whatever happens. Uh-huh. So that's 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 uh-huh. I am a hundred percent in line with you, Willie. Initially. Once I had to break down and explain a situation like that, and then he agreed, but initially he was like, nah, that's the same shit. Nah, no way. Do you still feel it's the same shit, or, or have you uh, uh, had a change of heart? Still versus You always guard. should do first. If you're going to do it, you got do it first. Th- right. This is, this is when me and her had this conversation. I said, so if somebody is coming up to me in my space, yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a hit them first. But... To me, that's like okay. I saw that coming, but off guard and still, and I see you. You don't see neither one of them coming. Motherfuckers ain't go just come to you and steal your shit when you see it coming. At that point, that's a robbery. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so when they stealing something from you, that's how I look at it. Like no nah, stealing on you, not stealing yeah. Something. I know, but I'm just saying when he when he's stealing on me. I didn't see it coming, and when I'm off guard, I don't see it coming either. So to me, nah, it's the same the, shit. Nah, but the off guard. You've you've request you made it clear. That it's going. You now. you like you. That's somebody to me. An off guard punch. Let me give you a specific example. But why example. is it? How's it off guard? Like is it coming from the side? I don't no, see it. Right? No, it's off guard because you're not at a point where you expect it. But you're you re- still. But you, you don't you expect ta- to get stolen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a difference. Why? Hold on. Here's a difference. Stolen, you never even saw it. That's what, this is like blind sight. Like just getting stolen, it was never in your peripheral vision. You just got hit. That's that's what I'm talking about. But an uh, off guard punch. If somebody is saying, "Motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck you up," they walk up to you and they like, "Nigga, hit me. I'll let you hit me first. I want you to get the first lick." This nigga is such a bitch. I am not gonna hit him specifically when he says hit me, unless he's like hit, and I'm like boom. I am going to if once I know I'm going to hit him, I would rather that person think I am afraid of you. I'm intimidated and I'm not going to do anything. So once this nigga gets to the point that he's so flamboyant, he's like, this nigga's a bitch. And he got his hands like in this shrugging motion and his guard down. As soon as he turns, I'm trying to go right between his like jaw and his neck, like off guard. Like he declared basically that he wants to fight. He's in my face. He's made it clear he wants to do harm to me. I'm going to punch you when you're not expecting the punch. But yes, you've declared you want to fight. You should be on your shit all the time if you doing all that wooshooing and rah rah. Right. Yes. So there's a big difference between stealing on and off guard. Stealing on, I see somebody and I'm just like, I don't like that bitch ass nigga. He ain't even looking. Wait, wait, wait. Let me hide. You know what I'm saying? But now, so now I'm coming with this haymaker to just knock this nigga out and run the fuck off. That's that's stealing on. But if you make it clear you want to do something to me, you trying to perpetrate or violate me, and you talking all this extra shit, any of this time that you doing this talking. Any of this time that you're doing this threatening, you need to be prepared that I can motherfucking just go, go off, there. just go in your jaw at any moment. And if you're not ready for that, that's your fucking fault. Because yeah. you was doing all of that loud mouthing and all of that threatening and doing all of this showboating like you Muhammad Ali in the middle of motherfucking upstate Greenville. So sometimes off. in a nutshell, before you're stolen, steal. 